beautiful people, it's Get Rachel Ray here. We are on our 30 day gratitude challenge. We're on day 15. Do you understand? This is halfway. I'm so excited. As you can see, I'm a little bit more focused today. So we're getting it done. The LinkedIn page is done. Go find me on LinkedIn. The Kickstarter is up. Go find me on Kickstarter. I tell you, now I just gotta get this book done, y'all. Gotta get this game book done. Oh. <clears throat> Y'all pray for your girl. <laughs> Send your intention and manifest an energy my way. Alright, so let's just get down to it. As you can see, I'm focused. I'm ready. Let's get it done. So, day 15 is faith. Hmm. The Bible talks about faith the size of a, size of a mustard seed. So it doesn't matter if it's a little faith. Don't matter. Don't matter. We have belief one day. Today is faith. So faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Isn't that just intention and manifestation 101? Like, isn't that the basics of what we're doing here? With faith, I'm believing that my company will be funded, whether through Kickstarter, or whether through my own personal means, or through family and friends and existing clients like I am surrendering myself by faith to the universe right now and saying I'm ready go and bring it give it to give it to get Rachel Ray give it to get Rachel Ray yeah give it to me baby so we can get some good stuff done because I tell you what if I can make manifesting things as simple as a kindergarten or first grade lesson as a preschool or toddler lesson, you know, I'm teaching this to my toddler right now, when you can teach information, that means you've really grasped it, so the ebook at this point looks like it's going to be kind of a self-paced and teach another type of book, again, we'll just see what the universe is giving us, right, <laughs> but I want you to know that faith, regardless of how much you have, is all you need to go ahead and manifest the next life or the next intention, the next big thing, the next art. And it's going to be that consistency, that discipline that actually keeps it going. Mm -hmm. So as you think about faith today and you show gratitude for it, sometimes maybe in your past, faith has been to rely on someone else's faith because you didn't have faith yourself. I had to deal with that myself. I had to deal with that exact thing. Understanding that, listen, I don't always get it right. And sometimes we put so much faith in others and yet don't have faith in self. So we'll believe in and trust in and, and follow what others tell us to do. But then when our own being self tells us to do something. We don't have faith in self. We, uh, speaking to me, I'm speaking to my future husband, Anthony O'Neill. I'm speaking to everybody out there who've placed more faith and more trust in a product or a service than your own thoughts and abilities and discipline and respect. Someone to make things happen with and someone to 
And trust me, I'm guilty of it too. Like, I'm his mom, and I'm guilty of, hey, you, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why aren't you just doing what I want you to do? And saying what I want you to say. You've got to respect his little person. He is a human, even though he is a baby. And trying to explain that to others so that they don't hurt or harm him. It's been a challenge. And I have to be sure that I don't hurt or harm him. And that's not even easy for me as a mom. I can tell you, even with my 21-year-old, I had struggled with not wanting to hurt him. Like, in doing things and saying things. energy that anything I said or did didn't affect him completely to the point of utter despair and trauma bonding and all kind of psychological issues and problems. Again, faith, you guys. Faith the size of a mustard seed is all it takes. And being grateful and thankful for whatever amount of faith you have taking everything I've learned and I'm going to pull 
pour it out to you on a regular, consistent basis. And when that e-course and that e-book are finally finished, finally, you're going to have some of the best parts of me. And I'm going to explain to you in the most simplest yet easy and effective terms on like just fixing the basics of life. And it starts with self. It just really does. So the moment I balanced my self-criticism with really just constructive feedback, I recognized that I can be better and do better in this world. And I don't have to lose myself to be better and do better. So for many years in some relationships that I've had, I have lost me. The parts that made me funny, the parts that made me smile, the the ways in which I want to help and assist others, I was made to put it on the back burner. Like I was made to quiet that big, big energy. <sighs> well, again, I'm happy to say that now I take this big, big energy and I'm changing the world. <laughs> Whatever big, big energy you got and whatever it is that's your drive and your passion and your, your purpose, when we uncover it, when we figure it out, you're going to be so amazing and so beautiful. And I'm so proud of you. So again, you can give Kit Rachel Ray credit. In fact, I give Kit Rachel Ray credit. That way you don't give it to me, but you give it to Kit Rachel Ray, the company I'm that's just collecting all the digital assets that my mind, body, spirit, emotions, and heart is saying give and give and give. And so those of you all who get to engage without any additional cost or currency, yes, 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 that's awesome. Congratulations to you. For the folks who have said, I need more, go deeper, Rachel, this isn't enough. Funny story around my Doogee. So as a little girl, my nickname was Doo. <laughs> and then Doo turned into Miss Doo. So I'm gonna let you figure out where my first nickname Doo came from. <laughs> That's probably a story I'll tell at one time on stage. Now Miss Doo just came from an evolution of, well, she's not smearing anything on and around her anymore. But she's got to get up and go. That just can't be stopped. And I noticed it in all of my children, even when they were little. So this little do gene activation thing that I have, it's like you question whether you should say something or do something. You wonder if it's the right time or the right place. In many cases, you just need to tap into self. So you tap into source and you tap into self. So that might be where you just... So as I
I'm in my universe and you're in you, you, you're in your universe and we share this universe and then there's galaxies upon galaxies and all these other dimensions that you're like Rachel.